The storm, currently some 200 kilometers south of Tokyo, is expected to barrel towards the western Chugoku region Sunday, where record rainfall earlier this month unleashed flooding and landslides, killing around 220 people and leaving more than 4,000 survivors still living in temporary shelters. The weather agency warned of heavy rain, landslides, strong winds, and high waves, and urged people to consider early evacuation. We want people especially in the downpour hit regions to pay close attention to evacuation advisories, meteorological agency official Minako Sakurai told reporters. The western city of Shobara in Hiroshima Prefecture issued an evacuation order to some 36,400 residents as a precautionary measure. Officials said. TV footage showed workers and residents hurriedly piling up sandbags to build temporary barriers against potential floods. It's going to deal a double punch, a resident in Okayama told public broadcaster NHK, referring to the recent killer downpours and the incoming typhoon. We are seriously worried, he said. More than 410 domestic flights have been cancelled so far because of Typhoon Jongdari while ferry services connecting Tokyo with nearby islands were also cancelled due to high waves, news reports said. We are paying special attention to the areas where restoration of river banks is underway as it would be the first heavy rain since the disaster. We are afraid that people may not be able to evacuate due to strong wind or floods blocking evacuation routes, Hiroshima Governor Hidehiko Yuzaki told reporters. I would like people to evacuate in advance so that they can save their lives, Yuzaki said.